Okay, this video is about transforming graphs. So what we're going to get given is a graph, and we're going to have to find out where it moves given what they've done to the equation. The only thing is, they don't actually tell you what the equation is, they just tell you it's y equals fx, and that, mean, that means it could be any function, it could be any function of x. So we don't actually know what the equation of the graph is, we just know it's called y equals fx. So that means it could be anything. Um, there's two types of changes. It can either be inside the bracket. So for example, they could give us y equals f of x minus 3. So that's a change inside the bracket, and that changes the x-axis. Inside the bracket changes the x-axis, and I'll also write here, I'd put it does the opposite. So does the opposite. So if it says minus 3, x minus 3, you have to plus 3 to the x's. So inside the bracket changes the x and it does the opposite. Outside the bracket, so if it was y equals f of x minus 3 outside the bracket, that changes the y and it does as it says. So this will move the y values down 3. So inside the bracket changes the x, outside the bracket changes the y. Um, and then inside the bracket does the opposite, outside the bracket does what it's told. So the x doesn't do what it's told, the y does what it's told. So let's look at some examples of this. Here's a graph of y equals f of x. Draw the graph of y equals f of x plus 2. So the first thing we look for, inside or outside the bracket. Inside the bracket, so we know it's going to change the x-axis. It's going to be moving on the x-axis. What's it saying to do? It's saying plus 2, and inside the bracket, you do the opposite to what it says. So we're going to take 2 away from the x, away from all the x values, x values. So what's going to happen is the whole curve is going to shift to the left two spaces. And I'll see if I can pick it up. Yes, I can. So we're going to go two spaces, oh, two spaces to the left, and then that's where our new curve goes. So what we've done inside the bracket is changed the x, so it's going left and right, and it said plus two, so we took two away. So this one here is our new graph, y equals f of x plus two. Okay, so here's the change outside the bracket. So outside the bracket changes the y-axis. Uh, so it's going up and down. And it says plus 2, and you simply plus 2. So we're adding 2 onto the y-values. So here's the original graph, and it just lifts up two spaces. And there we have y equals f of x plus 2. So outside the bracket, changes the y, does what it's told. Okay, now we're drawing um, minus f of x. So whenever there's just a minus, what happens is either all the x values, if they're positive, change to negative, and negative change to positive, or the y values, the positive change to negative, and the negative change to positive. Uh, so this is outside the bracket, so changes the y. Outside bracket changes y. And we are going to change all the positive y values to negative, and all the negative y values to positive. So it kind of flips over the x-axis. So this minus 1 here becomes plus 1. 0 stays as 0. And um, then let's say, where's it hitting? This 7 here, positive 7, becomes negative 7. Positive 7 becomes negative 7. And so what we've got is we've got the shape that goes up here, goes round there, and back down. Excuse the poor drawing. So what happens is all the positive y values become negative, and all the negative y values become positive. So it changes the y's, and it's just times them all by minus 1. Um, 
and the same thing for the x really so it's inside the bracket so it changes the x so inside bracket changes x so it's inside the bracket it changes the x and it's just got a minus so what we're going to do is all the positive x values are going to become negative and all the negative x values are going to become positive now so we've got plus 2 here that's going to go to minus 2 um, this point will stay the same plus 4 goes to minus 4 um, just over well just under there 3 point something there and then we just join up the points again so <laughs> not the best drawing but um, again so all the plus values of x became negative all the negative values of x became positive um, you could ask why this doesn't do the opposite it actually does so the opposite of it says times by minus one the opposite of times in by minus one is dividing by minus one which is the same so, okay now let's have a look at this so we've got the graph y equals f of x has a minimum point of 3 minus 2 over here minimum point of 3 minus 2 and then where does this point move where do the coordinates move to when we do these things to it so y equals f of x plus 5 inside the bracket it's going to change the x and it's going to do the opposite to what it's told so it's going to go backwards 5 minus 5 from the x so this is the x this one's the x, and we're going to minus 5 from it, so it'll go to minus 2. The y stays the same. y equals f of x minus 5, so outside the bracket changes the y, does what it's told. So we're going to minus 5 from this one, so the x stays the same this time, and this goes to minus 7. So inside the bracket changes the x, and it's going to, positive becomes negative, negative becomes positive. Uh, so it's going to be minus 3, minus 2, y stays the same, and this one's outside the bracket, so we're changing the y, so the x stays the same, and negative becomes positive. Okay, here's some for you to try, so give these ones a go, pause the video, see if you can work out the coordinates, the new coordinates of the maximum point here, um, and then I'll go through the answers. Okay, the first one, f of x minus 2, inside the bracket changes to x, does the opposite to what it's told. So we want a plus 2, plus 2 to the x numbers, so that goes to minus 2 and 4. f of x plus 3, outside the bracket changes to y, says plus 3, so we plus 3, so it goes to 7. Um, inside the bracket, so the x is going to become negative or negative becomes positive so that becomes 4 4 and outside the bracket changes to y so the x stays the same and it becomes minus 4 